My name is Glenn Lyons, Presiding Bishop of REACH South Africa. This is a message to all of our REACH SA churches. After nearly 150 days, we are finally moving into level two restrictions as we start to see some downturn in the regional infection rates. Several of our churches will be starting limited public gatherings as well as live service streaming in the coming weeks. Of course, things are far from back to normal and we must continue to be vigilant. The reality is there will still be plenty of online time ahead of us. I am so encouraged to see how innovative our congregations have been over this lockdown time. There have been many examples of creative outreach, discipleship and pastoral care. And I also rejoice at reports of several people who have come to faith in Christ. The Lord continues to grow His church. I am particularly grateful for the amazing response to the Presiding Bishop's Recovery Fund. In the last two months, we've received over half a million rand in donations. And the first distributions began this week. And these funds will go a long way towards assisting our many ministry workers who've had limited income over these lockdown months. And of course, we continue to welcome your contributions to this fund. My friends, there are still many difficult days that lie ahead of us. Some of our members have lost loved ones. Many others have lost jobs. And we are seeing plenty of social upheaval in our country, conflict and violent crime. And there is much to be done in addressing ongoing racial prejudice and gender-based violence. We as God's people are called to respond rightly and biblically to these challenges. And I want to remind you of Paul's words to the Philippians. Whatever happens, conduct yourselves in a manner worthy of the gospel of Christ. And whether I come and see you or only hear about you in my absence, I will know that you stand firm in one spirit, striving together as one for the faith of the gospel. My brothers and sisters, let's keep striving together. Gospel-driven prayer gospel proclamation and gospel practice and the God of peace will be with you.